What is happening, everybody? Hope everybody's having a good week. We are back because a new product just dropped the other day. We got 2019-2020 uh, Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. Uh, probably my favorite of the two between Series 1 and Series 2 is B Series 2. Tons of great stuff in here. Um, lots of things you're not going to find in Series 1. Um, they do have the OPG cards in here, which... For everybody who's opened this for a while, it's kind of that's kind of the light down of the pack when you get a OPG card. But some are pretty cool. You got some short prints in there, some black borders, red borders, blue borders, whatnot. Um, so yeah, uh, let's go ahead and dig in, uh, see what we get. Little secret: I bought a case of this, so we're gonna watch every single box opening. Actually, we're not gonna do that. I am going to recap. I've already opened them. They're sitting right next to me. This was perhaps the most epic uh, case break I've ever had or ever seen or watched. Um, it's really, really good. Um, you'll see in a minute. So we'll recap the rest of the case. Uh, that way we don't have to sit here through three hours just to see what I get. You just have to sit with me for the next, say, 15 minutes. All right. Let's go ahead and kick this off. Give a little shout out to... Uh, Friends of ours up in uh, Showtime Sports Cards of Jacksonville. If you guys are ever in the Jacksonville area, um, highly recommend a stop up. Super great people. Uh, we got an Ilya Mikhaev UD portrait. I'm figuring you guys don't really care to see all the base cards, so we're not even going to bother. We'll just rip through it. I'll show you what I get, and we'll get into the what else we got. We got uh, Mackenzie McEachern. There are variations in here this year. Um, Again, you know, they were in series one as well. Um, Matt Murray, uh, UD Canvas, Matt Murray. Um, I don't know who they, I don't know who they are or what the differences are. The only one I've seen so far was Ovechkin. Uh, not that I pulled one, but I saw one online uh, for sale already. So I was like, okay, well, at least you know that that's one. Sorry about the camera there, guys. Uh, we got a Capo Caco portrait. Um, so yeah, so if you guys get any of this, don't throw your base out. There's always a chance. I think they're like one every thousand packs that you'll pull a, pull one. Here's a E2, uh, Lusterinen young gun. That one's going to take a while to not get me tongue twisted. Tongue. Yeah, it doesn't roll off the tongue quite that well yet. So let's keep working on it. I've uh, got a Rem, Rem Pitlick young gun, Rem Pitlick. Uh, if you guys have noticed too, I uh, happen to change my backdrop a little bit here. Uh, special occasion, we're rolling up on the 40th anniversary of the Miracle on Ice uh, for the 1980 Olympic hockey game. Um, really uh, proud to own this. It's Mike Ruzioni uh, on the flag there, and then uh, inscribed, "Do you believe in miracles?" Uh, the only other miracle thing I own is uh, this card I pulled out of a pack of uh, Leaf Metal. This is Mike Ramsey, uh, Team Miracle 80s. Pretty nice card. It is a sticker auto, but they did a good job hiding it, so I don't really mind this one. Pretty nice card. So just show, try to share that with you guys. Uh, we got a UD canvas of Ryan Dezingle. So um, I don't know how many you guys, are you guys liking this product so far? I, I don't know. I'll leave a comment uh, in the comment section about how you're liking it. Um, I... After opening this case, I was blown away. But uh, here's Nicholas Haig, Young Gun. I was blown away. Like, this is... I, I never, I've never i never seen half these things pulled um, more than once per case. And I, in some cases, I got duplicates or multiples of really rare pulls. There's a common eh, Connor Timmons, uh, Marky Rookie. So it's going to be pretty, uh, pretty good. You guys will probably enjoy the, the recap way more than you enjoy this um but we never know maybe we'll get something ridiculous in here so we got a ud canvas of ray ferraro some pretty good uh pretty good pictures in here too this year uh, i saw a couple of cards i was like wow they did a really good job with that dylan dylan larkin my boy d boss has a uh fantastic uh ud canvas this year he's knocking the pucks off the boards it's a really, really cool card. Here's a Semyon Varlamov uh, update. Mitch yeah, the Mitch Marner canvas card is really nice. Um, so, yeah, there's definitely, Upper Deck definitely did a good job with uh, with their photography this year. 
Uh, we got a UD canvas of uh, Thomas Shabbat. Thomas Shabbat. Needless to say, it took quite a while for my wife and I. We both broke the box, or case, I should say. It took a while for us to uh, to get through it. A couple hours, and I'm like, I don't want to record this whole thing. You guys would not want to watch that, I'm sure. I don't think I could talk that long. I'd have to quit. There's Joel Farabee, Young Gun. I'd have to tap out halfway through and be like, you know what? This just isn't going to happen. Rookie of Scott Saberin. Saberin. You gotta be careful. Some sometimes these UD exclusives and high glosses kind of hide in the pack, and you scroll through them too fast. Open so much stuff here today. I'm like kind of kind of rolling out of uh, steam here. I'm just trying to clip through these. But. Oh, here we go. There is a UD Exclusives, uh, number 46 of 100, Aaron Ekblad. Not a young gun, but great player, so cool. It's a nice card. Pretty good hit to add to the rest of them in this pile. All right, we got young gun of Andrew Peak, Peak, Peaky. I don't know how to say it yet. So, sorry, Columbus fans, if you know how to say it, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got about, I don't know, five or six packs left here. And we'll roll right over into the uh, rest of the case. We got a blue border of Vili Hanola. Marky Rookie. Yeah, so usually, like, what I've been doing is instead of buying a crap ton of, like, packs at the store, like at Target, of blaster boxes to try to get a Young Gun collection, like, for the last couple of years, all I've just bought cases, right? So you buy a case of Series 1, you're guaranteed to get every Young Gun out there. Uh, you're guaranteed, I think, six Young Gun canvases, a bunch of jersey cards, and, like, you get a lot of good stuff. Um, the... I bought the Series 1 case this year, and it was kind of a letdown. Like, I kind of felt like I got railroaded a little bit. Here's a, uh, here you go, clear-cut uh, Patrick Line. Not too bad. It's a good card. Nice player. There you go. Um, yeah, it just didn't, the, the case just didn't do anything for me. Like, the canvas young guns I got weren't that great. I mean, I didn't pull, I got, like, one, um, clear-cut young gun which is a guaranteed case hit so kind of expected that but it was Mackenzie McEckerin which isn't one of the better ones you want to pull so I was like I just kind of got bummed out so like in clear fashion I uh I did it again and got series two here's a young gun of Emil Brenstrom went in and got series two and oh my god it's like the Upper Deck Gods have made redemptions for the wrong doings from Season 1. Or Series 1, I mean. Got P.K. Subban. Sorry, double. There you go. All right, we got one pack left. And we're going to go through, and I'm going to show you why I feel redemption. And we'll Brunstrom, Marky Rookie again. There we go. All right. So that was the first. That was that was the box I set aside when we before we open these all up. Um, so I'm gonna start off start off slow, and uh, we'll get into the good stuff at the end here. So that's all good stuff. Don't get me wrong. I'll leave just this camera just a smidge here. Okay. So, all right. Here we go. First up, here's all the rookie materials I got. Here's a rookie materials of Quinn Hughes. Great player. Um, really, really good this year. I'm actually really shocked how good he's playing. Um, super, super good job on his part. So, yeah, Quinn Hughes. Uh, we got a Dante Fabro uh, rookie materials. We got my boy Philip Zadina rookie materials. That's pretty nice. I'm, glad. I'm pretty happy I got that. Um, 
they make a dual uh, jersey one with him and Taro Hirose. I wanted that, but I'll have to buy one on eBay, I guess, because I didn't get one. But Zadina and then uh, Eric Brandstrom material, rookie materials for the uh, Ottawa Senators. And Alexander Texier rookie materials for the Blue Jackets. And Philip Myers for the uh, Flyers. So pretty cool. That's all the material cards I got. Um, I'll go. Let's just go through the young guns here. I, I'm not. I didn't put every single young gun I pulled in here. I just yanked out the good ones, um, put them in top loaders, and one touches, and then to show you guys. So we got two Kirby Docs. Kirby Doc times two. Got an Elvis Merzlikens, who's had a. He's been really good this year for Columbus, but kind of struggled lately here. Uh, Nick Suzuki uh, for the uh, Canadians. He's been pretty money for them this year. Uh, Dimitro Timoshov for the Maple Leafs. I don't even know if like he's worth the hype, but I saw him play in preseason, and he was pretty awesome, so I put, figured he's probably still doing okay. And then uh, we got Barrett Hayton. Barrett Hayton. Uh, we got Capo Caco times two. So two Kakos, pretty happy about that. You got Kale McCarr, which is clearly like gonna win the Calder this year, hands down. And my boy, Philip Zadina. So I'm really happy I got a Zadina. <laughs> He's in series one. Okay, all right, so that, that was the young guns. So let's get into the really oddball stuff here. All right, so we got a young gun canvas of uh, Philip Myers. Philip Myers. We got a young gun canvas of Rasmus Sandin. We got a uh, young gun canvas of Morgan Frost. Sorry about the glare here, guys. Sure. Thanks. That's my wonderful, lovely assistant. Oh, not that one. Turn that on. Turn that off. There you go. Oh, Thanks. Wrong light. Sorry, y'all. All right. Uh, here's Otto Koivula. I don't know how to say that last name. Koivula. All right. And then we got a Young Gun UD Canvas checklist of uh, Jack Hughes, Quinn Hughes. It's pretty nice. I like that card. We got a Program of Excellence of Julian Gauthier. Julian Gauthier. And a program of excellence of Carter Verhage. All right. Pretty good stuff there. Uh, we also got another, a Carter Verhage OPG black border. Uh, that's number to 100. Back. Pretty good. I uh, got some clear cuts here. We got a, a Zach Parisi clear. We got a Anti Ranta clear. And then check this out, guys. Like, I've only ever pulled one of these, and it was a really crap player. So, like, it didn't really, never really dawned on me I could pull another one. But, uh, what about that? Huh? Matt Duchesne. Young Guns Acetate. This was supposed to be inserted in 1718 Upper Deck Series 1, but for some reason it made it into 1920. So, I don't know how that happens, but yeah, Matt Duchesne, Young Gun Acetate. Pretty nice card. Uh, we got a UD exclusives of Alex Ovechkin, 83 out of 100. We got a UD exclusives of Colin White, 72 out of 100. We've got a fluorescence uh, to 150 of Victor Olofsson. Pretty awesome. I was super happy to pull that. And we also got a fluorescence to 50 of uh, Rasmus Sandin. Rasmus Sandin, blue. These are, I thought like, I thought these were like case hits to get a fluorescence card, but I guess not. I guess it's every six boxes or so, but yeah, pretty, pretty sweet. I like both of those. All right, so check this one out. This is even, it gets crazier as you go. So I got a uh, Jack Hughes UD Portrait Gold number to 99. Got a nice piece of cat hair on there. Jack Hughes number to 99. I was pumped to see who that was, so that's awesome. We pulled a Young Gun clear cut of Rhett Gardner. I have no idea if Rhett Gardner is any good, so 
as always, leave comments in the bottom. If he's decent or if he sucks, let me know. All right, cool. Yeah, Rhett Gardner. We got a signature um, sensations of Shea Theodore for the Golden Knights. Shea Theodore. I guess he's pretty pretty good for the Golden Knights, so pretty nice pull. And Shea Theodore. These are case hits, the autos are. All right, now we got a 101 of Aaron Ekblad. I could like sell Aaron Ekblad stuff out of this case. It was a good good case for an Aaron, Aaron Ekblad, you know. So yeah, 101, 30 years of upper deck of Aaron, Aaron Ekblad. And we got another 101 of Ryan Murphy, 101. So this is from a uh, 14, 15 series two of buyback. 101 and the probably the one of the sweetest cards. I don't know they're all really cool but like probably my favorite one is this so we pulled a rookie breakouts of Jack Hughes what do you guys think was this not like the sickest case that you've seen like unbelievable so yeah rookie breakouts Jack Hughes so yeah guys um that was uh an insane case. If you guys ever get a chance to, if you have the money to buy a case, um, you can definitely, it's definitely, you know, my opinion, I think you win more than you get, you know, crapped on. But it happens that you don't pull the stuff you want, but I think overall you get some really good stuff. Here's that Dylan Larkin. My wife just plucked it out. There's a Dylan Larkin uh, knocking the pucks off the board. And then uh, here's that Mitch Marner uh, canvas card. I just, I just think they're really cool. The photography on these is fantastic, so uh so yeah guys well thank you so much for watching thank you guys um i forgot that we've uh surpassed um we've surpassed 100 subscribers and it's all thanks to you guys i definitely appreciate you guys watching maybe at some point here we'll uh we'll have a little contest and maybe i'll give something away so that seems to be the trend like everybody everybody just wants to wants free stuff there's alex peter angelo uh petri angelo sorry uh for the blues holding the cup that's really pretty nice card so so yeah so stay tuned keep watching keep subscribing uh or thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet and you like the content uh please subscribe and uh i do this for you guys so uh stay tuned for more breaks to come i'll bring them to you as i can afford it all right see ya